Stabbed and shocked to be told his services are no longer required here at Elland Road. But in recent months, he's faced fierce criticism from those who at one time regarded him as a hero. Saturday's 4-0 drubbing by arch-rivals Manchester United was the final straw. Embarrassing the team and fans alike, it raised fears that without action, the side could nosedive towards relegation. Howard Wilkinson's eight-year reign as manager officially ended at an emotionally charged news conference at lunchtime. Ironically, one of Wilkinson's closest friends, the Leeds United chairman Bill Fotherby, broke the news. It is with great regret that I announce today that Leeds United have parted company with their manager, Howard Wilkinson. I decided after Saturday's match against Manchester United that a change of direction had to be made at management level. The 4-0 drubbing by arch-rivals Manchester United at Elland Road on Saturday proved to be the last straw for some fans who've regularly vented their anger against the manager when results haven't gone well. Leeds United are being booed off by a section of the crowd because today they were comprehensively outplayed and outmaneuvered by the champions. A small section of our supporters have uh, focused on me, uh, focused their disapproval, their disappointment, uh, their dismay. I think that started to affect the players. Um, the board, the last board of the football club had one agenda. This board has another agenda. The chairman says it's the hardest decision he's ever taken. This is the nasty side of being a chairman. It's not easy and this ain't come easy to me. But I had to... Uh, think long and hard about it and make a decision and I made my decision on Saturday night. The right decision, are you sure about that? I, I believe it's the right decision for the club, for uh, Howard Wilkinson, for everybody concerned. That's a view shared by many supporters who also feel Saturday's humiliation meant a change had to come. But anybody that saw the game on Saturday needed a club, needed a change, we were going nowhere and I think it's, I think it's good for the club. That's a shame. I think they should have hung on to him a bit longer, give him his chance. I think it's a welcome change myself. He's done all he can for Leeds. I think he should go and let somebody else have a go. I've been involved in football since I was 18 continuously. I've been involved in management since I was 27 continuously. I haven't had a break from it in all that time. Uh, I would like, if possible, to stand back, take stock, uh, you know, and maybe have a, a think about what's happening in football. Tonight, Howard Wilkinson's pondering life after Leeds United, sacked for the first time in his 24-year managerial career. As Wilkinson departs, the speculation about who'll be his successor has already begun. Well, today's sacking of Howard Wilkinson is in marked contrast to the euphoria that greeted the success he brought to the club during his eight-year reign. He led them back to the first division and in 1992 delivered the ultimate prize, the league championship. But in the summer, the club was taken over by the Caspian Group and Howard Wilkinson no longer figured in their plans. Tanya Arnold looks back at the events which led to his dismissal. It was in October 1988 that Howard Wilkinson left Sheffield Wednesday to join Leeds United. Four years later, they lifted the first division title to boot, beating off arch rivals Manchester United. They'd gone from the second division to champions. I think it was an absolutely incredible turnaround. He introduced players the like of which we never thought we'd see at Ellen Road. He uh, produced results which uh, up until, you know, up until he first came, we simply weren't even thought of. We were playing the likes of Shrewsbury, Barnsley, Grimsby, and all of a sudden with 18 months we were winning away at, uh, at Goodison Park and uh, places like this. It was a fantastic achievement. But then players started to go. I don't know why, but I love you. Having declared his undying love, Eric Cantona, upset at not being a regular in the team, went to Manchester United. David Batty went to Blackburn, Strachan to Coventry. Cup competitions kept Leeds going, but the 3-0 defeat by Aston Villa in last year's Coca-Cola Cup final marked the beginning of the end as far as many of the fans were concerned. Leeds were largely found out in Europe uh, when they came up against PSV Eindhoven, a quality outfit, and following the Coca-Cola Cup final performance, uh, the, the home games especially, the supporters were very unhappy with the, the form of the team. Earlier this year, the chairman, Leslie Silver, a good friend of Howard Wilkinson's, announced he was to go and was selling his shares. The club had new owners, the London-based media group Caspian. I want to uh, make it clear that our investors are long-term 
pension fund and life assurance companies and they're very keen to ensure that Leeds is very successful on the field and that should be replicated hopefully in terms of its profit in the future. Caspian put up money for players. After Ian Rush came on a free transfer, Leeds brought Lee Bowyer, Nigel Martin and finally Lee Sharp. But before Howard Wilkinson could spend any more of the reputed £12 million, there came today's announcement. Every manager at any football club has got a, a limited time span. And I think Howard's seven, eight years or something, he, he's done, he's done a, a good job for Leeds United. But I think the time had come for him to move on. Quite shocked, really. Uh, no, I am. Um, Obviously the gaffer, you know, obviously things have happened in you no know, shame circumstances and obviously he's, um, he's lost his job. But um, you know, obviously it's a sad day for the club. Yeah. And um, hopefully we can go forward from here now. Howard Wilkinson said he had a ten year strategy for Leeds United. He didn't get a chance to see that through. But no doubt he would say that his lasting legacy will be that whoever takes over will inherit a talented crop of youngsters. Well, a string of top managers have been mentioned in connection with the vacancy at Leeds United. Here are some of them. The strong favourite appears to be George Graham. The former Arsenal boss recently turned down the manager's job at Manchester City. The name of Kenny Dalglish has been mentioned. Dalglish quit as director of football at Blackburn Rovers recently. The former England coach Terry Venables is another big name being linked with the job. Venables is now at Portsmouth. Gordon Strachan, who was a crowd favourite at Elland Road as a player, is an outside bet. He's currently assistant manager at Coventry. Well, I'm joined here live by the chairman of the Leeds United Supporters Club, uh, Ray Fell. Ray, was it supporter power, all the demonstrations and anger against uh, Howard Wilkinson that eventually got rid of it? Well, I don't think they kind of helped his cause. I think they'll have contributed. I think at the end of the day, it's the directors that either stand by or sack a manager. But uh, I'm sure that the, the section of supporters have played a part. Is it the right decision? Uh, yes, I think so. I, I think the, the position was not improving any. The, the dis, dismayed group was growing, if you like, and uh, I think it was inevitable. What, was, what will be his legacy, uh, Howard Wilkinson? What, how will history paint him? Well, I, I think you must put him amongst the two best managers the club have had. Uh, Reavy brought success to the club at the top level, and apart from Reavy, uh, Wilkinson is the only manager that brought success at the top level, i.e. the Championship and a visit to Wembley. And uh, you must rate him highly. He's, uh, he brought us out of the wilderness of the second division and uh, brought us back amongst the elite. And uh, for that alone, I think the fans will be grateful to him. He's left some pretty useful young players as well for the new manager. Yes, he has. He's left a lot for the new manager to be grateful for. Uh, there's a lot to build on. Uh, I think the fans will be looking to, to the checkbook also, but certainly there's a foundation there for a new manager to be pleased he's inherited. Lots of names are being bandied about as a possible successor. Who do you fancy? Well, I, I can't honestly say. Uh, George Graham, I think, is a favourite amongst the fans. Those that chanted for Wilkie out, chanted for Graham in. Uh, Dalgleish has also been mentioned. Venables, uh, I suppose you could go on with an endless list, but one doesn't necessarily uh, feel sure that it will be a manager that's on the vacancy list. It, one never knows. We shall see. Ray, thanks we for joining see. us. Well, I'll be back with more on the developments here at Allen Road later in the programme. First, here's Sophie with the rest of the day's news. Sophie, back here, the dust is starting to settle after today's announcement. Despite a series of poor results and repeated calls for his head from some sections of the fans, Howard Wilkinson's departure was still a shock to many. A surprise press conference was called at midday and then the waiting was over. A short statement from Chairman Bill Fotherby confirmed that after eight years in charge, Wilkinson had been sacked. Tonight there's no confirmation of who will be the next manager of Leeds United. Well, back here live, I'm joined by uh, the former Leeds United hero, Peter Lorimer. Peter, a surprise, uh, his departure? Um, no, I wasn't totally surprised. I mean, there has been frustrations uh, at the back end of last season and certainly the beginning of this season. And um, when these things happen, uh, crowd, pr crowd pressure goes on the board and uh, obviously they've got to think of the fans for the rest of the season and where is the club going? And unfortunately for Howard, uh, the manager is usually the one who goes. George Graham's name seems to be firmly in the frame. Is he the kind of guy who can sort of pull things together and get, get them back on the right track? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt. The, the people who are mentioning George Graham and, and, and Kenny Douglas, the two main ma uh, names being thrown around, and both very highly qualified guys, both have been very successful at club level, and both have a record of changing of things around quickly, and I think that's what Leeds United needs, somebody who can do this job. New players as well? 
obviously new players. I mean, uh, the, 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 I mean, our results since Christmas have been poor. I think we only won one league game uh, from Christmas to the end of last season. We started off not so bad this season, but we're not convincing. And I would think we need one or two players to strengthen the squad. And I think uh, maybe looking at it now, I wondered why we hadn't bought some. And I think the board have maybe been holding back the money um, to give them a new manager a chance. Briefly, who's going to get it? I would say George Graham, um, and, and hopefully um, the fans will get behind him and give him every chance to, to get the club back where they should be. Peter Lorimer, thanks very much. Thank you. Well, that's it from uh, us on the day. Howard Wilkinson, one of football's longest-serving managers, was sacked by Leeds United. We're back at the same time tomorrow from all of us. Good night.